Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Studio YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Easter women suckers know veritably well that Garrison Brown feuds with his pater. Cody Brown, but the disdain runs deep and brewed for a long time. By the time TLC suckers saw him take charge in season 18, the son of Janelle had formerly drawn a line. Now that a fogey clip rehashed an old scene, suckers bandied the dynamics. Like Peyton, the son of Christine, Janelle's son decided he wanted a military career. Still, his pater made him join the Nevada National Guard. That toughened up a youthful man who stopped taking orders from his father. By the time Cody claimed on his social distancing rules, enough much no love was lost between them. Garrison Brown backed up Gabe who complained about their pater, ruining their lives. Of course, that placed Janelle in the middle of a conflict. Notably, it still goes on, because Cody snubbed the kitties at Christmas in Sister Women Season 18. Still, no quantum of snubbing tarnishes the youthful man in the eyes of TLC suckers. In fact, they saluted him for telling the family to let Robin have him. Family women suckers on Reddit bandy Cody Brown after you slash motor B 6167 participated a post from TikTok. You can see the videotape further down, and it was set to music and a bad boy rap theme. The fogey revealed Cody telling his son to observe him. Meanwhile, youthful Gabe looks on as his aged family starts sassing his pater after he claims, I am the general and you are the sergeant. Redditors reflected on the videotape clip, and one of them said, If you have to tell someone you are the general, you are not the general. Actually, I've no way seen a more insecure man-child in my life thankfully. However, he wouldn't have to say a word about it if he was as important of a man as he tells everyone he is. Family women suckers like that Garrison Brown stood up to Cody Brown. In fact, they adore him because he took charge when his mama and Mary were agitating his pater, his choice to stick with Robin Brown. Still, it becomes clear that his disdain for his pater brewed for a long time. A bystander said, He's done with baby daddy who's spending utmost of his time wetting down his pencil with woman. For and allowing he can bark orders like the man he isn't. Zero leadership or communication chops. Another person, talking about the expression on Gabe's face, said, I love it, you can tell the moment his respect transfers to his big bro. Logan and Michelle Petty Brown, knee Petty, married in October and November, and they expanded their family by delivering a doggy named Athena. Now, the soft-hearted couple ate a baby girl to their family. The news came on social media, and it followed the news that Athena passed away. Michelle Petty Brown seems like a kindly person Logan, the eldest child of Cody and Janelle Brown, left the TLC show and he and his woman. No way appear on Sister Women. But most information about them comes from Janelle, who's extremely proud of her son. Actually, when the couple tied the knot, it brought the first suggestion that commodity went south between Mary, Janelle, and Cody. Prince revealed Robin and Cody, sitting well piecemeal from any of his own family, when Michelle Brown still dated Logan. Sister women suckers started to realize that he hooked up with someone veritably special. Did you know that in 2020, she revealed that she bestowed order to someone she had no way met in her life? So, expanding her family with deliverance pups seems to be commodity she'd no way vacillate to do. Now, they saved a girl canine named Kirby who desperately demanded a home. Michelle Brown and TLC's Logan give a baby girl dog a home. The news that a new doggie arrived in Logan's home came on Facebook and it latterly made its way to Reddit. The story explained how their new baby is a blend of types, Labrador, Shiba Inu, and Jindo. Sorely, she came from a canine meat ranch in Korea. In a nice coexistence, she and Logan met the canine at a deliverance center before Athena passed away. 
and Kirby Stock is now living with Hunter Brown and his gal Audrey. Family women suckers can be brutal, but with the news about Logan and Michelle Brown espousing Anne of Tear deliverance, some nice effects were said in the commentary. One of them wrote, I love that they've chosen to use their platform to bring mindfulness to this issue and brought this sweetie pie home. I also love that their cat has taken control of their relationship and Kirby seems to be good with it. Then's another TLC addict who liked the news, a canine meat ranch survivor? That's so sad, but it's a good thing they espoused him. Family women suckers extensively respect my Kelty Brown and Tony Padron for their alluring personalities. They gained fashionability because of their love-filled and splendid bond. The couple frequently treat their suckers with frequent life updates. My Kelty and Tummy lately made it to the captions for their significant weight loss. She's now talked about because of her rare social media uploads. She addressed the changes brought in her marriage in her rearmost post. Read further to have another scoop. My Kelty Brown is living her stylish life with her hubby, Tony, and their three kitties, Avalon, and their binary sons, Archer and Ace. The couple have entered immense love for supporting each other in every way possible. My Kelty lately took to her Instagram to partake a rare post about the changes in her marriage after drinking their kitties. She participated a series of Filmland, the first one being in lovable family print. The picture featured My Kelty, Tommy, and their binary boys in a parking lot ahead of their Costco date. The boys were seated in the front of a shopping wing when she and Tony smiled for the print. The alternate picture featured her boys sitting in the front of the shopping wing. One of them looked at his family, while the alternate looked straight into the camera lens. The third one featured Tony pushing the Costco shopping auto carrying their boys. The Family Women star added the caption to this upload, wherein she mentioned, I always want to date my hubby. My Kelty also participated that she meant that she's always learning further about him. She continued participating that the pattern of their dates changed after they had kitties. My Kelty also said that occasionally dating for them looks like running errands together, maybe with some kitties. The reality television star Spratt also expressed gratefulness that she and her hubby could occasionally run errands together. Numerous family women suckers immensely appreciated her upload. Some of them indeed participated their experience with her. Likewise, several others poured my Kelty and Tony with all the love and positivity. Family women my Kelty has Tony's back. Still, my Kelty and Tony's marriage has experienced several changes over the times. But one thing remained harmonious, that is, their love and support for each other. The family women star Spratt eventually broke the silence and clapped back at the critics who mocked her hubby's long cinches. My Kelty eventually took to her Instagram stories on September 6 to partake a communication with the haters. In the clip, she sat in her living room girdled by her little munchkins. As per the sun, she said if her hubby's hair is long, also it's either her or Tummy's concern. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.